Hi friends, in this video we will see about the function written types. Uh, as you know that every function will be having a written type. Uh, it's not compulsory. So every function will be having a written type. So we can also define the type of that return also in the TypeScript. Let's see how we can do. I'm removing this code. Let's write same bold example, something like function add and it will be having number one as a number okay and number two as a number what it will do it will return number one plus number two so this one is the total thing so now if i try to do the console.log add of one comma two it will return you the three okay so now here by by seeing this add function you can assume that the return value of the add method is nothing but we can say it as number okay if you hover here you will be able to see the uh, function add number number and also uh, at the end of the uh, method declaration you can see column number like this right so that means so it is expecting the written type as the number so it is it is it is returning the number type uh, number uh, written value as number okay for example if i convert this one to string and here dot to string what could be the num uh, what could be the written written type here the written type will be string so if we over that uh, function declaration if you see there you will be seeing that it converted into the string okay automatically it converted into the here it converted it, it here it converted into the string here so that means typescript according to the uh, function logic and all those things it is inferring inferring the return value okay so according to the return value it is changing according to that one return value so maximum in maximum cases what we can say is we can allow the typescript itself to decide the return value so that according, uh, according to the logic what we have written it will define the return type for that one so in some scenarios will come where you will uh, uh, tell the return type of that one for example see here if i try to tell it as a number okay now you will get an error here why because the return type you are explicitly mentioning that one i i need to send the i need to send the data as a number only you are you are telling you are insisting that one but here you are converting both the strings and you are sending the string data string type okay so there is a reason here you are getting an error type string is not assignable to type number so in this scenario what we need to do we need to remove this one like this okay so now here this one automatically what it will be expecting is it will be returning it will be returning the number for example here i have created function print result okay i have one method print result so it will take something like value okay it will take the value and it should be of type number okay and i will be returning i will be consoling dot log result okay plus value okay it will be only the value so this is the another function with the name print result so what is this print print result will be doing is it will be taking argument value which is of type number and it is not returning anything it's just consoling the output if i try to do for example here if i remove this one and if i try to do print result of i will send the add of one comma two okay so here what i have did so i am calling the add function so add function will return the number and i am sending that number to the print result value okay now if i try to check the output so before checking the output we need to compile the code okay after compiling the code now if i check the output here i am getting result as 3 okay so this is how we can we can define the return types for the functions now here if you see the print result this one okay if i ho this one is not returning anything so there is no return function for this one so that means the print result doesn't return anything so what could be the return type of this one so let's see if you hover here if you see here the return type of this one is nothing but void okay if any if you are if you have no experience with other programming language and all those things so the the void is a common thing so which doesn't return anything okay the void is also one type which doesn't return so if you don't have any return or anything 
so you you will be mentioning that word using the void so here automatically typescript defines this written type or otherwise you can mention here like void type void type also so now okay so this one is not writing anything if i try to do the console.log what could be the output okay so what could be if i read if i am consoling the print result thing what could be the output now let's try to execute this one and if we see the output here what could be the output you are expecting so if i try i am getting the output as undefined okay but you remember in the in the previous javascript course when we are doing the javascript course and all those things okay we have we have learned in the javascript undefined is also one type one data type okay undefined is also one of the data type okay in the previous data, uh, javascript course we have learned about now but but here we have told that it is not returning anything but here it is written undefined so undefined is also one data type in the javascript okay so that means why can't we write here undefined like this okay why can't we write undefined why because we, javascript doesn't have the void and all those things typescript it's a, typescript has the types void so here but the function itself is written undefined as the thing but here if i try to change it to undefined typescript compiler is showing the error so in typescript we can define a variable using the undefined also for example if i have a variable with result i can i can use the undefined type for this one so it, it uh, typescript will not show any error but this is meaning uh, but this is not but this doesn't have any meaning so the result undefined means it doesn't have any value okay so this this uh, this case will be the rare cases you will be not using this type case but undefined type is valid in the typescript also why because undefined is also a data type in the javascript so that is the reason undefined also will be is also a type a, is, a, is also valid here but here when i am trying to do the written type but here if i use the void here so void means nothing but it should not return anything okay it should not return anything but it is returning undefined here so if we write it undefined here we are getting an error okay so if you return a uh, error uh, if undefined so i can return like this okay so i am not writing anything nothing but what i am writing is i am not writing anything means i am writing undefined only now the error has been gone see so written if you are not writing anything means we are writing undefined so error has been gone so that means the written type what we are trying to send is undefined is matching with the written type so that is the reason it is not showing anything for example if i change it to void here okay then also you will not get any error okay then also you will not get any error if you use the return or if you don't use the return also you will be not getting any error so that means so in the back end thing not in the back end so in the javascript thing you are in the typescript if you are using void means nothing but the void also will return the data so uh, what we can say is undefined data it will be returning so if you if you use return without anything also it is valid okay so that means it is returning undefined or otherwise if you are using return like this means you can also use undefined instead of the void but we will be not using this case why because so you, you can use void so that you can you, there will be no need for us to, to use the return method here so automatically the typescript compiler will, will add that to a written thing okay so this is the uh, this is how we can declare the written types in the uh, typescript for the functions and also the use of void type in the typescript if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comment below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you